Curtis here. We're going to talk with Brian again about Spellforce's new expansion. Hi, Curtis. So uh, this is Spellforce's new expansion, just like you said. Um, specifically, it's called Spellforce 2, Faith and Destiny. Um, in this game, you play as a shy con, and you're playing through um, in the true style of Spellforce, an RTS RPG that's pretty unique. Um, in this one, you play through uh, four levels with a, a total time of about 15 hours all total. Some of the new stuff we've added is you can actually get a dragon mount now, so you'll actually have a dragon as part of your party and they'll fight alongside you, or if you'd like, your main character can jump on board. When you're in an RPG, an RPG type section, you're playing with a party of a bunch of uh, heroes, so you can customize however you'd like through a very large uh, skill tree. When you're in a more of an RTS level, then you're actually getting workers who are building, uh, you know, bases for you and, and armories and so on and so forth. And you can, and depending on where you are, you can swap back and forth or play it how you want. Um, and certainly, you can break it up how, however you see fit. Um, other new ex uh, new things are we've got a new uh, multiplayer mode, which is uh, domination, um, which means you got to capture and hold. Uh, key points as long as possible, which is new to the Spellforce universe. Um, and because it's a new expansion, we wanted to give you something even cooler. So there's a, co a completely new playable race in multiplayer who are actually the bad guys in the campaign. Um, they're called the Nameless, sort of a demonic race. Um, and one of the coolest things they have is that they have a tower that when you upgrade it enough, if it kills you or if it kills you around it, it'll actually reanimate the corpses of your, of your, of your fallen guys. So when you come back to fight it again, you're actually fighting your own men. Uh, are there any other new features that will drastically change the previous Spellforce games? Not too much. What we wanted to do was just add to the story that we've uh, that we've been telling. What we also wanted to do up a little bit. So for this game, we actually pulled in um, a community member who wrote a really great story, sent it to us, and we've been working closely with him to make sure that uh, the design works and the story makes sense for the canon that already exists. And just cleaning up a few loose ends and sort of, you know, taking the the the, the, the story into into the future. And finally, when's the release date and for what system? Sure, so this is a PC-only title and we're coming out in fall of this year. Thank you very much.